if you are a beginner and you want to develop an edge it's a little bit difficult because you don't have enough understanding of the market or understanding of ages you don't have enough information but still it is possible to develop an edge if you systematically go about hunting for edge now in order to find an edge you have to understand what is an edge edge is basically some sort of a uh, phenomena in the market structural phenomena in the market which you find which is going to give you positive results so every time you risk on a trade the probability of you making money is going to be higher that is what age is now how can you as a beginner find age and have a confidence in them one of the ways is by studying other people's ages and one of the good things with social media and twitter and blogs and youtube channels nowadays is uh, almost all the well known ages are in public domain so if you look at like any people uh, who are successful traders and look at what was their age and try and understand what was their age then you can create your age by looking at other people's age the most commonly used age uh, amongst retail traders are like an momentum so stocks with momentum uh, for swing traders it is like short term momentum burst or momentum burst of 3 to 5 days so if you have to like any show you your example like say here is a example of a short term momentum burst kind of a thing where the stock went up 50% in just couple of days because of momentum now the other kind of an age which is very commonly used by uh, retail traders especially those who are doing day trading is news and the reaction to news uh, whenever there is a news which comes out then the stock reacts to it immediately and for that day that stock is going to be in play or it is going to make a big move either to the upside or downside and that is something which is can be converted into a money making kind of a machine if you understand this age another uh, like just example of this today is again apld why did this stock go up 78% today and the reason why it went up 78% today is because it had earnings and those earnings uh, news led to this making a big move or like say there was a stock which was down a lot se which is down 17% why was this stock down so you knew this information ahead of time you knew uh, before the market opened that se has missed earnings and as a result it is likely to go down now the probability of se going down is very high right and that is the reason why i shorted this stock in the first few minutes and then it kept on going down right and basically so you can create an edge by looking at news and news based ages are very frequent that means like every day there are stocks which are coming out with news and as a result of the news which comes out the stocks make moves and once you study uh, the impact of news on short term price moves you will be able to identify the kind of news which moves stocks obviously earnings news is one of the news but if it is a biotechnology then it can be a drug trial news or it can be a uh, news about management change or it can be a news about insider buying or it can be a news about analyst upgrades and downgrade but that's another age which you can develop which is a news based kind of an age and this is widely used age by people who are do, doing day trading as a third kind of an age which is in public domain which is used uh, very commonly is uh, called as parabolic short uh, or also in another word it is called pump and dump so whenever stocks make big moves in a short period of time uh, they make like in a really big moves based on some news or because they are like in a driven up by people or like an insiders or whatever whoever is manipulating those stocks and those stocks don't if they don't have earnings or sales and they are just going based on the news based on some story or pump then ultimately they crash and when they crash what happens is the stock collapses and shorting these kind of pump and dump especially in small caps micro caps stocks which are very small capitalization is an age and there are so many traders again uh, typically day traders swing traders who use this kind of as an age and if you want to see an example of that recently you see this uh, so here this stock went up like crazily right and why did it go up crazily 
and the reason why it went up gradually was some sort of a Chinese pump and it is like an, a, basically uh, in just two days the stock went and made 3600 percent one of the biggest moves probably uh, in long time I've seen right and now uh, it collapsed and it's down 92 percent right and basically so people who specialize in finding this kind of moves and there is an age in this uh, there are people who made millions of dollars shorting parabolic short there are people you'll see uh, day traders who work for proprietary firms and all who do this as part of their regular uh, money making kind of a process right so this is another thing which is an age now if you're looking for ages which are slightly longer term like in the sense of holding a stock for a longer period of time then growth investing is one of the ages which is used by a lot of people the entire ibd uh, investor business daily cancelling kind of a method is based on two things which is basically finding stocks with momentum and stocks which have good earnings or sales and something new and that is something which is an age and it is in a public domain and a lot of details about that particular age is in the public domain right and basically so if you want to see an example of a stock like that which made a big move recently is like an essay duolingo right now this stock had like an a basically good earnings and sales and as a result of that the stock made like almost 37 40 percent move right and basically so stocks which have good earnings sales and plus momentum like in a stock had already made a first leg it was like in a going sideways then new earnings news came in and earnings and sales were very good so it made a 40 percent move now these are kind of stocks which you can find by using uh, combination of momentum and some sort of a financial data which can be earnings per share or sales growth and then uh, build an age around it now there are other ages which are like you know, basically similar to this and those are like you know, the ages which are used by people like uh, darwas darwas essentially was looking for a stock which had doubled from a 52 week low and which had which was near all time high but that was not the only condition which he was looking for he was looking for stocks which are newer industries so you can look for a stock age in uh, companies which are newer like an uh, focusing on stocks right basically which have ipo'd in recent period of time and which have like an uh, ipo'd in like say last 10 years or five years uh, and then identifying the one which are making a big move you will be able to find big moves an example of that for a stock which made a big move even if you look at this duolingo itself you'll see it's a recent ipo right and it's a, re a recent ipo and it has made a big move right uh, from uh, this thing or like in a, one of the stocks which ipo'd in the last 10 years and made a big move is mongodb right and after ipo ipo the stock made a move of around 1600 percent now this is these new kind of stocks which come out of nowhere and newer stocks make these bigger moves so you can build an age around focusing on stocks which are recent which have done recent ipo and again on this particular topic if you want interested in developing an age like this there's a lot of information because there is a book about ipo uh, which is written by somebody which talks about how to trade this and once you start doing getting detail into that you can find out stocks which come out like this and which make big moves like say another example of a stock which made a big move uh, is that c right and basically if you see here again like an sc from ipo after ipo it made almost a 2000 percent move so focusing on recent ipo specializing in it can be an age uh, then there is an age in trading biotechnology stocks there are people who trade biotechnology stocks they have an intimate understanding of the biotechnology industry they have an intimate understanding of the drug ma management process they understand various stages at which drugs are and they have an understanding of chemical uh, so which uh, like the chemi chemistry of biotechnology and those people make money so you'll see that there are like an, a hedge funds which specialize in this particular kind of an age now that's those are some of the ages which you can look at which can be sectoral there are people who specialize in retail understanding retail this is like in a, one of the ways in which you can develop an age now if you are not inclined to do analytical kind of an age like finding stocks with momentum or finding stocks with ipo and you just want to do machine learning kind of a thing 
and you want to do quantitative trading or you want to do uh, so something like back tested methods or like automated trading then there are ages which are also which are used by people who do automated trading and the automated traders they are primarily use two types of ages one of the age which they use is mean reversion and there are n number of mean reversion kind of methods which are in public domain and those have ages basically um, similarly uh, trend following which is what is the second kind of a thing which is used by all these uh, people who do back testing is an age which is used like there are you can if you go around and look around you'll see there are a lot of uh, automated systems uh, up for nasdaq 100 stocks which are essentially trend following stock which be, which are based on um, ranking stocks by momentum and holding for the top five stocks by moment uh, by ranking by or by trend and keep holding them till they drop in ranking now those kind of things are based on trend following now if you want to get into quantitative quantitative uh, ages are built around factors and the factors which they use are size of the company uh, in uh, like analyst ratings there, there can be factors like sales earnings growth or there can be factors like valuation there can be factors like debt levels and things like that but a lot of ages are in public domain uh, the problem for new trader is to synthesize and analyze this which is a big challenge which is not an easy challenge because you don't know what ages are working and that is why typically new traders learn by imitating somebody's age and that's why like in a new traders take somebody's age and imitate but when you take somebody's age and imitate uh, you are not sure whether that age is really going to be working or not working right and that is why you will see that there's a lot of frustration because some of the ages which are used by people are not well defined uh, some of the ages are very well defined some of the ages have been used by line of traders for multiple years like say the kind of age which i trade uh, which is a short term momentum or a momentum burst and uh, earnings based news or news reaction uh, reaction to earnings kind of an age this age has been around for more than 100 years uh, this is how like you know, traders have used that age for many many years so if you can narrow your search to ages which have worked and then they take that age and then get into details of it because every age has multiple ages around it which are created by traders by using tactics by using process by using uh, scanning methodology by, by using uh, entry methodologies by using exit methodologies or a sizing of the trades kind of a thing and as a result of that they create an age now but this is the fundamental task which you need to have or fix first uh, if you want to become a trader and if you want to be a long term profitable trader to develop your age and you should be able to articulate your age uh, in the sense you should be very clearly be able to tell somebody what really is in your age i know my age is short term momentum burst of 3 to 5 days in 3 to 5 days stocks making uh, 10 to 20% moves is what i am focused on right and basically now that kind of a work if you prioritize at the beginning uh, you will be able to essentially freeze on an age uh, in the first six months or one year of your trading and once you do that progress is easy because once you have a structural age like momentum or a growth investing or a value investing then it is a matter of building details and building procedural ages and building tactical ages around that particular age so if you are a new person new to trading and if you are currently not really like in a very sure about your age I think another first starting point should be to study the ages of people who are successful and try and then understand their age and replicate that and that will make your journey much much easier.